Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add a counter and how to program it. Uh, this is the previous project of the time. We use the function block in order to add the time. We can still use it for even for a counter. We can just write a CNT. That is the abbreviation for a time for a counter. As you can see, just click there and click insert. But today we use a different method. You can go and check the previous video to check how you edit with that method. So here you just double click on the network and then you click that option there. As you can see, you have all your additional functions and basic instructions. So we'll just go to basic instructions. We'll go and check the CMT. You can see that is our counter. S1. You just choose the counter symbol, which is C or C. Or name. Uh, I'll keep it at zero. As you can see, as we got different type of bits, which is 16 bits and 32 bits. Uh, 16 bits goes from 0 to 199 from S2 there you can choose D or K which will choose K K is the one that you able to insect your own number but D you use the number from the function block from inside the program as you can see from down here so we we'll choose uh, K2 this is how how much our counter should count as you can see if I edit our S1 component to be 5000 that means now I'm using the high speed counters but for now we'll use the slow speed counter which is 16 bit uh, we'll delete this program if you want to see how it work you can check our previous lesson so what I want to do here I will make the start stop and uh, our counter should count two times so i'll use also rising and falling edges uh, and stop when you press stop you should be able to reset your counter and your pump will stop and after your counter is counted two times then your pump will start so we need there to have c0 which is our counter so as soon as you press start two times and then uh, c0 two is it's uh, c0 is equal to two and then you, your your pump will start so we'll just add the reset pro pro program or network so you just need to normally open contacts and you uh, reset coil so here you just put your stop as you can see if I did set the stop now we'll just write the uh, CO and then you put the reset function so when you press stop it will reset the counter and then the pump will stop running because you have pressed it you start two times and then it's equal to you set point for the counters and then your pump will start after the pump is running as soon as you press stop it will reset the counter counter will go back to zero and then it will stop the pump from pumping so we combine our projects uh, i think i need to add rising edge so that you can uh, press your push button twice in order to start your, your your pump and then the counter will count those two push is the one and two and then it will be equal to our set point which is two and then the counter will be activated and then it will run our pump so we can go to help and see the different type of uh, timers and uh, explanation more further explanation on how the the timer works as you can see s1 which is our 16-bit counters that goes from 0 to 199 and then you 
you've got your set point on S2. As you can see now, we've got to decount, which is 32 bits. As you can see, it starts from 200 to 255. We also have another set of counters, which goes from 256 upward. We'll go to those uh, at a later stage of the video. Now I'm going online to see how we go online on the Delta ISP soft. You can check also on my previous videos. They are also in the link. There are links on the comment section. So you can see now online. You can see the count is currently at zero. If you press your rising edge, you set it on. It will be on and count one. And you set it on again, it will be on and count two. I will show you in the following video. I don't want my video to be too long. Already this one is over five minutes. So please check the following video and also check the other videos on the comment section. My question for today will be what is the difference between the high speed counters and the low speed counters and uh, where are they used? Please comment your answer in the comment section. Please like and subscribe and watch more videos on the link description. We'll continue the simulation on the next video. Thank you.